FST friends. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and keep going with matrices. And so for today, you can see we're going to get into systems with matrices. Okay. Now, very soon, we will actually, in fact, be doing all of these steps where we're going to be solving with matrices. But in order to do this, we're going to first need to practice finding the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So you might want to pause this for a second and make sure you get everything down that's in this green outline box right here because it's very important. This is how you do it. This is how you do it every time. Okay. If you start out with whatever is here, let's call this lowercase a, lowercase b, upper right entry, lowercase c, lower left entry, and lowercase d, lower right entry. To find the inverse, and notice that we use that same little notation that we did before. We put a little negative 1 right there. You do 1 over this times this, a times d, minus upper right times lower left. Okay, that's a little fraction that goes out in front. And then after it, behind it, you switch the spots of the a and the d. You keep the b and the c where they are, but you change their signs. Okay? All right, so here we go. Let's work through a couple of examples here. Let's start with this one. So we want to find a B inverse matrix if we're going to start out with 5, 4, 2, 1. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we're going to do B inverse has got to be 1 over, okay, um, 5 times 1 minus 2 times 4, okay. That's going to be our fraction out in front. This is followed by, we're going to switch the spots of the 5 and the 1, okay? So the 1's going to come up here and the 5 goes there. And then now the 2 and the 4 are going to stay put, but we're just going to change their signs. So in other words, we're going to turn them both negative. All right, so now what we have is 1 over 5 times 1 is 5 minus 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, I'm not going to skip any steps here because I know this is already confusing enough. Okay, 1 over 5 minus um, 8 is negative 3. Okay, and then just last step, now we have this scalar out in front, this negative 1 third, so we need to distribute it to every entry. So negative 1 third times 1 makes the top left a negative 1 third. Negative 1 third times negative 4. Negative times negative is positive. 4 is really 4 over 1, so that becomes positive 4 thirds. Okay. Negative 1 over 3 times negative 2 means down here becomes positive 2 thirds. And negative 1 third times 5 is negative 5 thirds. Okay. And there is your inverse. All right, so let's come on over here and let's try a couple more. So here we go. Let's go with our we problem. All right. We're given that the C matrix is negative 4, 2, 1, negative 3, and we need to find um, C inverse. Okay. So C inverse is going to be 1 over, remember the steps. Okay. It's going to be a negative 4 times a negative 3, this times this, minus this times this. Okay. 2 times 1. This is followed by, we're going to switch the spots of the A and the D. Okay, so the negative 3 comes up here, and the negative 4 goes down here. Okay, and then the 1 and the 2 are going to stay put, but we're going to change their signs. Alrighty, so let's work out what we have out in front here. So now we have C inverse is 1 over negative 4 times negative 3 is 12, and then minus 2 times 1 is 2. which is, let's continue working out this fraction out here. That's a 10. Okay, and now we're going to take this 1 tenth and distribute it. In other words, we're going to put a 10 underneath each of these terms. And so we're going to get C inverse is negative 3 tenths, negative 2 tenths, negative 1 tenth, and negative 4 tenths. Okay, and you can actually leave it like this, but it would be perhaps a little bit nicer if you would just go ahead and these two can be simplified, so let's go ahead and do it. So we have negative 3 tenths, 2 over 10 simplifies to 1 fifth, and it's negative, 
negative one tenth, we can't simplify, and four tenths is two fifths, and don't forget it was negative. All right, so let's try one more here. Let's see if you can do this one. See if you can follow all the steps. Go ahead and pause it right now. All right, and if you did it correctly, I think you should be getting this. So good luck.